everyone. Welcome back. It's Jogi with Anshruti. What's up, Joe? What's up? What's up? Something came in the Aajab mail. Aaj hum react nahi kar rahe kya? Why? <laughs> what came in the mail? Exciting things. Exciting things. <laughs> so this is so good. I know, you guys. Thank you for this. Oh, this is, this is so like, good. Listen, I know. Go. We just, must do the unboxing properly know, with you right now. I know. Right? So let's just should we just dive into it? So like yes, you guys. Uh, I got it day before yesterday. I wait no two days ago. So I waited, yes. waited to unbox this. The the tape is. I'm sending photos of the box to my family, and they're like, "Can you show us the actual thing? Like, what is? It? We don't want to see the box." <laughs> But wait. So were you expecting it, or did you know that it's coming? What happened? Just before no, no. we get into. Ha. Huh. No. Let's so let's rewind and tell. So once your channel crosses a hundred k, this a few days later, like till it registers in their system, they send you an email with the. With a order code number, or whatever. So you go on the link and you order your button. Like you huh. give your, like you give them your address and everything. कि कहाँ मिलना है. That's it. And then they're like, wait. So the वो तो December में ही हो गया था. So I didn't, right. I don't know when it's coming. It yeah. just arrived yeah. six weeks, five weeks later. So ठीक yeah. है. It's here. Suddenly FedEx messages saying your thing is out for delivery. I was like, what thing? <laughs> Now what have I ordered? <laughs> I know. I was like, <laughs> what did I order? What did I order? Shit. I tried not to spend money, but okay. Anyway, so this came. Very exciting. Let's do it. Exciting. I have I have my photo knife. Oh, very fancy knife, I must say. What kind of It's gold knife actually, is that? I actually broke it. So now there's like, can you see the blade? It's a chota sa. Like, let me show you. It's a sa nikla hua hai upper which I use. Okay, ये ये blade छोटा हुआ but like if I if I if I move it, it'll just break. So we're going to use this. Be careful. Yeah. Ah, uh, tada! We should have some music. Dum 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 dum. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so dramatic. Some firecrackers, fireworks, shoom shoom shoom, all that. I, I wish I had someone editing my video that get that. Yes, that. someone beatboxes your way into. Anyone wants like, to edit my videos, it. please DM me. Go for it. Now, I don't have time. Yeah, I just want to outsource this whole business. Which we're going to talk about today? Why? 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 On your subscriber, this is what it looks like, guys. Oh, <laughs> congratulations on your subscriber milestone! We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award Woo-hoo! was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions, contact us. Da-da-da. Okay, so guys, thank you for this, Bola. You have yeah! been a rock star through this whole journey. <laughs> this is as much mine as yours. Oh. So sweet. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do oh, a man. certification <laughs> ceremony. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. I'm sending you the giggles <laughs> and the jingles. <laughs> giggles and the jingles. Jingles. No, wait. I'm, I'm I'm giving you the. This is a photo op. Come on, put your hand like like you're accepting it. Okay. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Some hundred thousand subscribers. Just how far have you come? If oh. each of your subscribers were a light year, they could take you from one side of the Milky Way to the other. That's far. Okay, really YouTube yeah. is a little cheesy, but okay. In the I like the space cheesiness. I love Na? it. Yeah. As part of, we're so excited to celebrate your special YouTube journey with you. Not only have you brought a unique voice and style to the world, you've also created valuable connections and built a community along the way. In that spirit, YouTube is proud to present you with the Silver Creator Award, which celebrates your hard work and incredible achievement. Yay! Woo-hoo! Congratulations on this amazing milestone. Just one of many that we hope will follow in the future. After all, there are countless others. Out there who have yet to discover your passion and dedication. Aye. Whether they come to your channel to learn something new or just for a laugh, a whole new audience is waiting for you to inspire them. Just as your growing community continues to inspire you, yes, you guys. We can't wait to see what you do next, and we'll be with you every step of the way. Your sincerely, Suzanne Wodziski, CEO YouTube. Oh. Amazing! Yes, I just kept thinking of. If this whole letter Hindi me came out, then we were in the first verse. Oh, that's slap. <laughs> What rubbish! By the way, everyone knows my Hindi is amazing. I got many oh, compliments for it. Yeah, of course, of course. After, and, and if you rewind back to three years back, or like two years back, even to when you were like reading the stuff versus, uh, versus now, I think there is a dramatic improvement in your Hindi reading skills. Listen, can I just say that Let's my say okay, okay. Back. Hmm. Ha, reading ha, skills? skills? Okay, reading skills. Reading only. Ha, Correct. Okay, fine. I'm just saying. Ha, okay. Because bold hai fluency bahut hai. The thing is, when uh, I used to live in Delhi, I used to speak a lot more Hindi because you yeah. use it in everyday life. You right. like, don't anymore. So I can feel like you're holding it. Unbox the main man. Now I'm gonna remove this. This is it, guys. Let's just. It says. Jodi Sardar, yo! Jodi Sardar for the win. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, this is so good. Okay, now we're gonna. I don't want to put fingerprints on. Look at all these. Are you glove? Look at all these. No. Okay. Oh, yay! Achha, uske shiny mirror surface me sab kuch dikh raha hai. I know. Oh, nice that is though. Oh, it's so oh, shiny. Oh, mic bhi dikh raha hai. Mic ka shining moment that is. Okay, one second. We will point it like this yes. so that nothing yes. can be seen. I will edit all that out. <laughs> Ring light dikh gayi. Upar aao. But this is so good. Maybe you should mount it peeche on the wall. That'll be so good, right? If it could be yeah, like if it could be mount a little to the yes uh, and later maybe if possible. Thoda can you imagine all of the piling up all the colors flex. humble yeah. flex at the background. Listen, you deserve to fully flex. What is this humble flex? You oh. earned it. You've earned it with all that community building that you do and I know it's not easy to be able to like actually, you know, not just put in the content and the hard work behind editing and getting all of it together but then creating a community and being at that active in that and that takes a lot of effort. I know that from seeing you. So it's so well deserved. Well done you. from that random idea that you had how many two years two and a half years back two thinking ha two and a half years back Ooh, thinking ke koi nahi dekhega ha koi nahi dekhega main kisi ko bataungi bhi nahi chup chap hi kar leti hu yes. cut to you know you sitting with that amazing that was why for your hard work thank you that was my pitch to madi because i was trying to convince her like come let's do this it'll be a good time pass i was like listen anyway nobody going to see we're not going to post about it all like we were scared to get embarrassed in our friend circle so we were like kisi ko nahi batayenge bas time pass karenge and ek youtube ke chote se corner mein baith ke hum apna gap shop karenge which we anyway used to do on radio so we were like we yeah. just talk about music now what is that uh, and then she agreed and i was like okay good good this is fun because it's, it's very yeah. boring like kind of boring to do it alone no so i was like ha huh, let's do it and then of course people apparently thought we made sense <laughs> clearly in clearly. the videos or, or in all the all the gupshap and the nonsense clearly fun was being had so fun was being like had it. yeah fun was fully being had from day one but then yeah. maddy got really busy and then yeah. you and i just so the the bhola by the way we were just catching up our regular like mm-hmm. and she we've not seen each other in how long 20 it's been a while 15 I, no 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 I I was there. I was in Bombay for an eighteen. Eighteen, I think. Huh, at yeah, at huh, uh, huh, this one's yeah, house. Yeah. Huh, huh, Archu was also there. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it's been yeah. it's been a minute. It's been like five years or something. So we were doing our every six month random catch up, catch yeah. up or something. <laughs> and I told you that I've got this channel, and you're like, "What? That's amazing!" And I was like, "You want to yeah, come?" I say this. I was actually pissed off that she hadn't told me about it. I was like, "How do I not know about this? What is this? Are Sorry. you not like putting any stories on Insta?" No, there's a reason for it. And then she told me why they're not, and I'm like, "No, but this is amazing. Like, why wouldn't like you know her friends want to watch it? I would like to watch it." Honestly, and then she's like, no, not yet. Let's just hit uh, that time. I think you just crossed ten. Had reached eleven or something, and you were like ten, eleven thousand. Ha, and you were like, "Nee, twenty pahunchega na." Uske baad we'll start publishing. I know we were like, "Well, let it reach a respectable number till then." It's just yeah. very late. So we were obviously like anyone who puts themselves out there on some kind of public yeah. platform. There's a whole like fear, right? Any yeah. any creator, any artist will have that, and we had that in in holes because we were just not like not camera friendly people at all. Neither Maddie nor me. I was just like, you know, because radio ki hai. We've never been on video Correct. sort of. And um, back then, radio was very different from radio today. Radio yeah. today, yes, you constantly have to put stories. Video. You constantly have videos, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, like, uh, but back then it was very serious radio, like purely audio. Serious radio. Yeah, purely audio. Yeah. <laughs> very undiplomatic, undiplomatic. He said, but yes, it was serious radio. And um, yes. no, but um, it's just, it's just we were just like we don't want to embarrass ourselves. Let's just do our thing on the side. We won't tell anyone. And um, you know that whole like uh, people would be like. Oh, they're gonna be YouTube creators now. Oh, you, you think, know? huh? Huh? Acha. <laughs> and I was very like, okay, I don't know about this, but let's anyway. Whatever. Long story short, yeah. it's we're here today. Yay! And it's random, so random phone calls with with friends result in amazing, <laughs> amazing things coming out of them. So, Yay. so a uh, moral of the story: call your friends, catch up with them. You don't know what idea will strike when. Yeah. And yeah. what journey will begin? You know. Correct. I absolutely. We, we need to do a high five. We got it right the last time. Slow motion, me. Wait. Damn. Wo wo pass me aake. It's like. Oh god. Snaps also. Okay, we are okay. being very lame now. Shall we? Okay. Guys, okay. Before no, before we do the Q and A bit. Thank you so much for this. Thank you for being a part of the community. I I say it at every milestone, but it's never enough. Um, it's just that we love. talking about art and sometimes we go on and on that's just who we are you know that that um, my favorite comment comes to mind women 
with that teacup emoji. <laughs> was that such a comment? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, that's it's a whole thing. Oh, the teacup oh, emoji is a thing. Haan, that, yeah. <laughs> Haan, so anyway, we love those comments. So yeah. that's that's just what we do, and it's just it's just crazy. It's crazy to me, and it's crazy to us. I think that yes. so many of you connect with our thoughts and our <laughs> random musings that's on a true. daily basis. It's crazy yeah. to me. I would never have imagined um, that you know there would be this kind of community. Correct. Um, Correct. That got built over time. It's been a good fun job. I can't believe it's been two and a half years. My mom was asking me. She's like, "You've been at this relentlessly," and th- like my family doesn't care. Like they're just like, "How could there be a side She keeps doing a lot of things. So, yeah. so they're just they follow the milestones and they like congratulate me and everything. Um, my sister gets very excited by some of them, but but overall they're not like. And two like watchers yeah. of the channel. Huh. They're like, "Huh, kuch to music she like <laughs> talks about." So anyway, it's good. It's good. Parents should just stay off the channel for <laughs> certain reasons. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so yeah. So now huh. mom was also like, "Huh, but two and a half years. What is the scene now?" I said, "Scene is nothing. We just keep yeah. at it." But there will be other things. So yes, let's do the Q and A. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted us to like answer some things in this unboxing video. And I go, "Thank you, thank you." Wala speech wala ho jata, bahut boring. So uh, let's do. Huh? What do you huh. say? Yes, yes. I'll, I've picked out some screenshots. Bola has also got the so ones that of... she shortlisted. Yeah, yeah. But like, yes. there are so many. I left it for like you know. Before we got to them, I want to ask you. Acha, what? From your end, how has it been? And what is the thing in your friends and family about you being here with me so again much like you my family is almost like hanging bahut kuch karti rehti hai ye kuch kuch to iska chal raha hai voice mein kuch kuch hota rehta hai so till i don't send them proper links then yeah. they'll click and they will listen so at one point i remember i think 6 months into it one year into it hmm. i remember sitting and like you know and my father was like acha at least show us what you do i really had to focus and be like kaun sa wala nikalu jisme zyada gali galoch nahi ho and like which one which reaction in which song Talk so studio. Yeah, so then I picked out like one, and so they, so so they they saw it and they were like, oh, very nice, very nice. But they were like, yeah, but what are you doing? And I'm like, they're just reacting. They're like, so you're watching something, and you're like, just watching it. I'm like, I know we're yeah. doing nothing. <laughs> exactly. So I'm talking about it. So they were like, okay. Then there's another uncle of mine. He, I think, regularly watches us. Yeah, and like he, I've told you about this, right? And uh-huh. he lives in America, and he'll always like he'll send me our videos only back. There was this one time oh, in the middle, he was sending me forwards of ours only, saying very nice, very nice, very nice. That was really cute. And uh, like the, all the Coke Studio stuff, he specially listens to all that. So like you know that was very cute. Um, but otherwise, just generally, most of my friends from all the Insta stories, they know I do something. And then they are like, but they don't quite understand the whole. But then there are few talks mm. I gave. Like at one point, I was invited in to give some podcasting and like you know, voicing talks and all. And uh, in that, this was a while back. And in that, because it was with all tenth, eleventh, uh, and twelfth standard, uh, they uh, knew school. Your... Uh-huh. They knew. They watched. The moment I came, there were like three or four people who jumped up. But like we know you, and like it was a Zoom thing, right? And they uh-huh. kind of like. Uh, they weren't supposed to because it was supposed to be only like the person who was interviewing me and me talking about it, and they kind of just put their mics on and they're like, "We know who she is. We have seen her." I was like, "All right then, hello you guys." So that was super fun. So like stuff like this keeps happening now and then. Ha, I think you'll nice. get you'll get mobbed if you come to Bombay. So like if you come and chill, suddenly like people will be running across roads and going, "Chauti, we see you." No, no, nothing like that. I was in India. It's happening to me, it'll happen to you. Like hoga. So yeah. yeah, so a little bit, little bit, all that like happens so, off and on, which is very cute. Which yeah. after my radio thing, I kind of you know it takes you a while to get out of the whole radio mind mind space, and I was so after that I was now very comfortable not being in that space, mm. and now being on the reaction channel now with you, mm. it's kind of semi got me in a comfortable space back in that zone, mm. you know, because your mind begins to kind of become um, like you know on radio. It, within one minute, you can pack in so much stuff because yeah. your your brain thinks in like slow motion, and when you stop doing that, then you go back to normal life. And with the reaction channel, That's I think true. because of watching and then being able to articulate all the thoughts, uh, I've come back to that kind of thinking. Mm. Not you know, so so that was fun. It's a fun side of me which I thought like I'd said goodbye to forever, but now thanks to you, that side of me is must stay alive. Yeah. yeah. I I completely get that because actually when the channel started I was still doing my radio show in California. Yeah. So yeah. so I was doing those weekly recordings as well so I was still in that radio mode but the only reason I kind of kept that alive uh was so I stay in this mode. Correct. Where I'm constantly like not performing but but talking. 
to people. Yeah. Um, because yeah. like for me, it was like about that connection. Anytime I get a message from my radio show from from people on in, like in California, I get DMs and appreciating the flow, the playlist, or the songs I picked out for that week. Da, da, da. It was just like my way of connecting with people over music. Yeah. But and it wasn't satisfying me enough because it was a weekend show, you know. So once Correct. a week only, and I'm not physically there in California to engage yeah. with them uh, live during it. It's pre-recorded, all of that. So I then YouTube became that medium just mm. by accident. So I get that you know being in that mode kind of keeps your brain also active because whenever you take a break from something like that where you need to think on your feet, yeah, your brain goes into that hibernation. Mode. yeah yeah you slow down yeah you really slow down anytime I take a, a holiday when I worked in yeah. radio and come back to my show after two weeks I would just be like what am I doing I think, <laughs> why are my links yeah. so like like you know like there's no Dila, yeah ah, Dila links yeah. exactly yeah. so yeah. anyway and you know when, when, when this is really funny when Maddie and I started we used to rush through we used to do like we were in radio mode do links <laughs> So we were like, yeah. jaldi, jaldi karna. we don't have time. We have to wrap up the video. And then, then later on, I'm like, listen, we have all the time in the yes. world. What is wrong with us? Yes. Can we just calm down, slow down, whatever extra thoughts are there, just take them out. It's all good. There's no time limit. Yeah. So yeah. that's the good yeah. thing about YouTube. Yeah. But you know, a lot of questions that came in because now I'm going to just like dive, dive into in. those. Yeah. yeah. Many questions that came and um, I'm just going to a couple of names for with similar questions. Uh, Sahil Relan. Then we have uh, hey, Sahil. We're qu quite a few yeah. people, but the question is basically, do you do a job or you're a student or what are you up to in life? A couple of other questions also came in saying, where are you? And what is the whole scene? Where do you sit and do this? And is this like a side gig or like what is going on in life? And what are you studying? So I remember there was another question somebody else asked saying, what are you studying? So give us a full lowdown on where you are, what you're doing. And are you a student, Georgia? Oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are always students our whole life. Never stumpy. Okay, anyway. Uh, oh, but so. straight answers also required. Huh? Ah, okay. Like, just philosophical, esoteric ones. Yes. Okay, so, um, yes, I'm in London now. Um, I was in Oman. That's where I grew up. I was there with my family throughout the lockdown. And now that COVID and everything ended and the world opened up, I decided to pursue a degree that had been put on hold for like two, three years, um, which is a degree in music business management. It's a master's degree. So I'm in the center of the world, quite literally. I'm in a GMT, the time zone, <laughs> zero, zero, um, mm -hmm. in London doing it. And uh, yeah, it's super fun, but it's so, uh, it was a big decision because it's so difficult to go back to being a student um, after it's such a, a long decision. time. Yeah. And also like, cause I'm so used to, I was so used to living at home with family and just, you know, kind of feeling the warmth of your loved ones around. I was, and it's something I wasn't used to because I'd lived alone for yeah. so long. Um, yeah. But then I got used to it and now I had to choose to leave it again and, and live alone again. So that whole transition period is what's been difficult. Just yeah. feeling homesick on many days and then trying to find a place to live and just getting accustomed to the pace at which the master's program goes because it's a one-year master. So it's very, very, very intense. Usually master's yeah. programs are two years. So especially ye wala semester because all the transitions were happening, place, mm. weather, food change, so now you know why oh. ek, ek, ek ki required thi. You know, a lot of people are wondering why you were taken. We had taken like, Adalia, yeah, yeah, one yeah, and Because I was still not settled. Yeah, I was yeah. still like all over the place. And really just like from October onwards, the yeah. the deadlines and assignments thrown at us, it was non-stop. It's been non-stop. The only time I've had mentally free of those is since four days ago. And now yeah. for the next three days. This is the only mm. one week, one week break I have without a deadline sitting on my head. So... Term one finish abhi char din pehle, or abhi term two shuru ka teen din baad. So after like I'm guessing first ten days will be okay. Then again the onslaught of deadlines and this thing and plus our thesis writing starts this this semester. So, so are you loving this newfound refound uh, student life? How how much? Uh, what's your love affair situation with this life? I mean we are all poor students at the end of the day, so that's <laughs> not the fun part of it. Uh, but no, I'm really loving it because there's. So are you much... be be truthful? What do you mean? What do you mean? I must tell you guys. Because I'm a poor student. There are times she's like, she's a great, good, very good student. You're actually doing really well, like as far as good. But the, I think the pressure is so much. She's always like, oh my God, I can't do this. I have to study so much. I have to study so much. There's a constant cribbing going on. Of padhai karni hai. Which is like, isa sita lamba hai, ye karna hai, wo karna hai. Which is like such a college and a student life. You know, it, I can't believe you hate it. it while it's going on. But then you love it. 
the second it's over you know the second it's in the past so you're in the hating but loving phase yes and i keep telling myself that the only way i'm going to keep myself sane is by saying that enjoy this and every every like alumni of our course who's come and talk to us has told us don't take so much stress is the only advice i would give myself when i was doing the course because everybody took so much stress on deadlines and kya kya you know it's like they forgot to enjoy this time as a student and you being a perfectionist it must be doubly difficult for you trying to get everything right perfectly <laughs> but i'll say i'll say one thing like my book that i keep recommending to everyone big magic there's a there's one of the most important lessons that that book taught me and i learned it a couple of years ago which is done is better than perfect because perfection mm, only exists yes. in your mind so yes be done with it submit it finish there's no perfection Correct. anyway Correct. um Correct. so i have calmed down on the perfection front but still like when i find myself losing it on days <laughs> like oh shit i want to put this also and this also and this also uh, i'm just like it's okay it's okay if you miss one or two points just submit the damn paper and be done with it mm-hmm. that is keeping me sane now very good very good are you ready for your next question ha huh. so is, huh. yeah so that's what i'm doing abhi i'm not doing any like other full time job i do have a business that runs on the side it's on automation if you know what i mean see Har- harrison it. hamid also asked the same question what are you studying in the uk so i think we've answered that as well yeah yeah, yeah. quite a few yeah. came for that correct uh, correct okay wanna... somebody also asked why you so cute jojo I love that one. Why are you so cute? Jojo? And he's put answer it please in caps lock. I saw <laughs> that's why I'm asking. By the way, I did not take that. Uh, uh, but I did <laughs> because it's fun to tease Jojo. I'm not. She's cute. That's right. Oh, I just mm, but okay. So, uh, okay, I have another question from him as well. He's written, "How do you think your music taste has evolved over the years?" Oh, jeez, this is a very very hard. I mean, I can go yeah. on over the years. मतलब कहाँ से शुरू करें? Because I think I, broadly, without uh, broadly too much. Yeah. Broadly, if your life experience that when you discovered music, I'll just child, give you. Huh. Yeah, versus now, now stage differences. I'll give you like little, quick, quick like huh. phases. grew huh. up on classical concerts and like the maestros um performing me learning kathak so being very heavily involved with classical music and all of that um got to college i mean high school and all of that you're listening to only english music cuz you you're too yeah. cool for other shit you know so so yeah. all that happened uh you know kind of just grew, grew up with the with the 90s music and yeah. then um which 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 meant everything everything from um uh, um uh mariah carey to a uh, fuji's to you know whoever whoever just name it and we were listening to it my sister and i martha bolton mtr did you listen to like i mean everything yeah. everything michael everything. jackson everything. Yeah, everybody yeah um uh, we had this thing of like making our own mixtapes and our own like yeah uh, so that i think a, 90s was the era for mixtapes yeah we had a uh, whole like 90s. wall full of cassettes and then uh, replaced yeah. later by cd's but um then in but this is the fun part when i moved to spain to study i was so cut off from home and was homesick um that that's where i started rediscovering hindi songs and what my parents used to listen to like retro songs oh so cute so i used so on, yeah so i used to only study to retro music and hindi music um and like obsession obsessively mm. so i i can't study without music on that's my thing yeah so yeah. that happened and then of course in those years i was also listening to a lot of spanish music a lot of flamenco a lot of those influences i learned a little bit of flamenco as a hobby for a bit uh my best friend became a flamenco dancer who i lived with so i used to listen to everything she's playing in the house yeah then bro- moved to the us and then heard whatever was on the radio there and like everything everything happening <laughs> there um and then uh came to dubai and started working in radio so again all my hindi music knowledge applied all the time everywhere um everything i've just consumed everything over the years oh and i then in bombay while i was in radio city i got into salsa madam yeah. shruti was supposed to join classes with me she kept delaying kept delaying then i got fed up and went alone and then my Actually, life did join you yeah, did you did go yeah yeah i did Haan. i used to hang out with all of them and after a while i was like hand yeah bas ho gaya ha mera kabhi khata nahi hua mera continue hota and then i performed and then i obsessively yeah. obsessively got it like salsa changed my life so then for a few mm. years there and you would know this question then then we lived in dubai together and we drive to work every day there was only the phase of chambao <laughs> that's how i look at it and of okay. course a lot so, of yeah Cham- of- chambao is a spanish group again a flamenco fusion group obsessed with them um there was a whole phase of that bit flamenco fusion and then there was a whole phase of latin jazz and just salsa yeah. and cha 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 and bachata and um all the latin music which is not reggaeton <laughs> not reggaeton uh so that happened and now of course this channel has been a revelation as well because it opened up another whole genre which kind of was like there but not there uh, even when i was in radio because we all know how like what the history of desi hip hop has been so yeah, yeah. i think it's grown a lot in the last 3 4 years and 
luckily we've been we've not been too late to the party you know got to it in 2020 which is right. good enough and and you guys have been part of that journey since then so these are all the different music that's how it's evolved so it really depends on i mean i don't say that i listen to one genre or one language even Correct. i grew up on louis armstrong as much as uh, arabic music that was around me in in muscat so classics from everywhere <laughs> are always playing that's in my brain that's uh, amazing yeah so that's yeah. that's that what about oh. you though Ah, okay. <clears throat> Full okay. So yeah, so I much like you because my whole classical thing started with Kathak. Yeah. So I did Kathak, then I did Bharatanatyam, and I did Bharatanat- uh, Kathak. I did for four years. Bharatanatyam I did for five years. Wow. So because of that, like the whole classical whatever thing, just like you know, वो अंदर घर कर जाता है, वो बैठ जाता है. And you usually whenever you go for class, you never go for just that class. साथ साथ में जब बाकी लोग perform कर रहे हैं, there will be times you will have to sit and बजाओ the harmonium. You will have to be on the tabla. So you know there's a lot of multitasking yes. that happens, and you kind of have to learn everything. And yeah. even if you're really like in single digits, right? Right now age wise but still that kind of creates like a really strong base, base. after that i Absolutely. went to uh, a boarding school mayo college so over there the kind of the emphasis was a lot on western classical like so much and also mm. hindustani classical mm. so oh. and and it was compulsory to be on you know to do both the things yeah. and while doing that uh, on weekends when we would get our uh, back then walkman and like cd walkman were allowed and everything because we weren't allowed music otherwise mm. so uh, because boarding school right and when we did get it we would like how we used to scrounge around for the latest cds and the latest cassettes and like listen and ragdo them and ragdo them i think my habit of listening to a song over and over and over again comes from there because mm. you'd get like in in that exchange you would get one cassette for the weekend so aap us ek cassette ko dono side mein ya max two ragad rahe ho teen din ke liye which is half of friday saturday sunday so you know we've like which joy i feel gen z yeah. will never know the joy of that i agree i agree and uh, but we also come in gen z by the way but we'll get into that discussion no we are millennials Uh, trust me abhi online all things are confused <laughs> all definitions are confused it's all everybody going like that A- anyone born from 80 to 95 is millennial Correct, correct. We'll, that's what I said. We'll get into this later. I'll, I'll send you three different definitions under which all will be valid. And suddenly you'll be like, "What? What is going on? Make up your mind." <laughs> I no, but to okay. be Gen Z, I'm just saying, okay, go on. <laughs> so musically, basically after that, like even uh, so, I did a lot of. I was very active in the play circle in my school and college. Mm. So which means all the classics we were performing to, a lot of yeah. them were, and I was also in the school choir and then college choir and stuff like that. So I used to do a lot of inter-school India level singing and stuff like that. Like we used to. actually we sent us choirs <gasps> into school yeah, and all that no mm-hmm. not anymore so we, so i feel that a lot of all that com- like you know the competitions opened my voice up a lot so because of ah. which hame constant riyaz karate the for western and hindustani classical yeah. and that really helped it really mm-hmm. helped because i could then listen to uh, western influences and like all classical influences even in pop music Mm-hmm. and to be able to correlate that oh ye yahan se uthaya hai isko yahan pe aise kiya oh how beautiful so that's why later in college i was like heavily into trance because trance music and uh, western classical music it's progressive like one thing goes mm-hmm. and then and then i found a uh, uh, deep house and then for few years yes. oh god was, have it even talked about all that yeah yeah i was like heavily into deep house and in such a way where i was yeah. like i don't want to listen to anything else yeah. after that I took off and just did not want to listen to, and I, of course, straight out of college, I kind of was in radio, and we were playing so much of Bollywood and also like lyrical music that mm-hmm. I got in my personal time, I got switched off from lyrics. I was like, I cannot listen to lyrics, so I would listen to yeah. a lot of hang drum, a lot of uh, drums, a lot of uh, plain guitars, like instrumental. I mm-hmm. heard so much mm-hmm. instrumental and yeah. like flutes and so much, right? And I would go for concerts of those and like everything. Like it was amazing. It was amazing yeah. to just explore that world. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So after that, and then of course, like meeting you, even listening to when you introduced me to Latin music, for me it was like instrumental because I couldn't understand the language. Mm-hmm. So even words were like instrument to me, you know. So um, I think my, uh, which is why now listening to hip hop. It's like I think it was a right right time for me to maybe come back to lyrical because hip hop is primarily lyrics it's lyrical right yeah. everything even the rhythm Poetry. is lyrical it's yeah it's words and uh, now I've begun to even find that music within words mm. that you know when they say that like the original languages resulted because uh, you're just forming music with like you know words were just basically music mm. and then how slowly they kind of created it they formed and now today we know them as words and then word progression happened but point is that there is music in everything and like even in 
silence there is music and now i think i've become so in sync with that that i listen to music like everywhere constantly so that's there's, my music progression nice yeah. there's actually in my in my class i learned this there's actually a um i can't remember how long it is but it's like a few minutes long by someone again i can't remember the name i just google this it's a it's copyrighted a uh, piece of just silence and it's considered a song and it's copyrighted so mm. silence is also music since you just said Yeah. Like but, if anybody's uh, interested, look up Nadi Yog. You'll get to know more about it. But yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. but um, no, this is, we were learning this in our copyright class, copyright laws. Oh, so, nice. Um, so, but yeah, no, good. You reminded me. Even like Western classical is something that I grew up on because my mom used to um work in this company, and they. If you guys want to Google this as well, Time Life, they have this uh, CDs cassette case called the Great Men of Music, which is only the great classical composers, Western classical. So yeah. we kind of grew up listening to that as well. Like literally, I have scratched those CDs to know when because I would study to that music. Yeah. Um, yeah. So look it up. It's 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 one of those vintage. um collectors items today if you go on ebay you will find the great men of music cd cases anyway so that and then i remember even in my college uh, i mean in my university ka last year i was about to graduate and then i was told that some credits had not transferred my spanish credits so i had to do some more electives my last elective that i took after in the fourth year of my uni was music appreciation and in that we had to actually analyze a uh, classical yeah. songs western classical songs and do our like essays on them this like, is this music reaction like, you've been doing a lot long I don't, before you realized when you were talking about thing. it i remember i was like oh ye to <laughs> yeah kab kiya tha like we actually Correct. did that technically and i loved it because Correct. it just it opened up my mind in another different way and then yeah. of course since you also mentioned house and trance and all i don't know if you remember there was a time there's something called the peppermint experience in dubai oh and yeah <laughs> so peppermint lounge started when i first moved to dubai and it was a friday night thing so on friday yeah. night i would be right there with my finger up in the air <laughs> dancing till 3 in the morning every friday oh, like man. without fail yeah. um so that was my life but uh, electronic i discovered for the first time in ibiza it's literally mm-hmm. like quite the uh, the what do you call it a story for the books because i was there on spring break during our second year uh-huh. and suddenly i was in this club i think bacha um and there was this music that i'm hearing i was just like what is this music and it was like it was a crazy crazy experience so like 6 yeah. in the morning um yeah. and that's when i got into all of that it was a it was a phase the thing is like you said when you mm-hmm. when you when you leave ra- when you're in radio working in radio constantly consuming so much hindi music or at work yeah. and scheduling playlists and just like con- it's coming out of your ears so any time i'd step out of the office i would completely switch off from hindi music completely it would just be yeah. my salsa music or it would be electronic or whatever Let's else see that, that so like i was saying that off radio all this is what i was doing but on radio what was happening is uh because i i was i've always also been a hindi movie buff right yeah. like watching hindi movies once i've seen it i'll remember details about it like like very weird details about things i'll remember which came yeah. in very handy in radio because yeah. when you're creating a contest and stuff now i used to back then do a show 6 days a week yeah. for 4 hours Every day, I used to do one interview with different person. So six days a week, I'm doing You're interviews, talking, right? Yeah. And because of that, over weekends, I would also land up going to a lot of gigs. Mm. So a lot of live gigs, a lot of like very like chupi rustam wali jagah hai, jahan pe aapko pata nahi hai kya chal raha hai, but like yeah, very yeah. you know underground stuff. Speak so easy. yeah, so I heard so much new music, and also I think a lot of people who today are super famous, but back then were starting out. Yeah. So in parties, we would all be hanging together, and they were like, "Many gana lagha hai, kena like uh, Wait, like you know, listen to it." <laughs> so many, <laughs> right? So, yeah. And then cut to like you know a few years down the line, and the person has become like hit it really big and all, and yeah. that happens with so many like when yeah. you're in the radio industry, you land up meeting so many people when they're starting yeah. out, and then watching their growth. So that like sorry, they I'm like fully going in one memory lane, memory like you know full nostalgia zone is happening now. I can see, head. but it's amazing because when you look back, you feel like oh my god, there's so much, there's so much that like so much. every like I won't say every, but there's so many. um people in the industry that we've encountered we worked in the in the thing for so long a lot of them are friends like literally whatsapp yeah. first name basis friends don't like to talk about them because it's not really a flex we've known them since you know nobody knew them and they're like really just <laughs> yeah we've seen the artist journey from such close quarters is what the point is that, in simplest that's that's why ha so in simplest words from zero to hero You huh. know, when somebody is fully yeah. broke, then they have nothing. Like they're like yeah. struggling and whatever, and then suddenly they get their break, yeah. and then you know they become. Yeah. And they're all they're all big names right now. And the yeah. the thing is, um, as a as a spectator of someone you're you you know so well, or you you kind of see 
um, and talk to them at different points of their career. You've kind of been with them backstage at their gigs. You you've hung out with them as friends and gotten drunk together so many times. You kind of um, and obviously you talk, right? So you kind of know what each phase of an artist's career feels like and yeah. what is the stuff they have to deal with at every point. And that's why I feel like I, at least, I'm, a, I'm, I'm sure you you as well, I'm able to be empathetic to where an artist is. So when I listen to someone's yeah. song, I'm not thinking, oh, I have judge karna, I have to give my opinion, dena, you know. I'm trying to see where he's approaching it from, where his probably mental like uh, position is or emotional position is at this point in their life and career. So... I guess I guess what we're trying to say is this whole memory lane. There's a lot of YouTube um, singers who used to just be doing their covers on YouTube that like I would play on radio. Nobody had heard of them. And I yeah. call them in and interview them just because I'd be like, yeah. dude, you're so talented. And then we become exactly. friends. So yeah. there's so many of those who are big right now, uh, big yeah. names and kind of seen them through that journey. Also, this like yeah. the pop exactly. era. Yes, the YouTube era also, you know, so there's there's basically a base that we kind of have. I feel thanks to our experience of understanding. Yeah, you know, I think if we didn't have this base, I don't think yeah. I would even mentally think that I'm okay to even watch something and react in, on camera for it. I'm because not qualified. Like, who am I? I would I'm feel. not exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, still, qualification is under, it's questionable. <laughs> like, whether it's, I mean, whether it's needed yeah. or not is, yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think it's it's more about just being chill with it, but also like not being fully clueless as to what's going on. Yeah, and also not taking anything too seriously. I think that's the way to exactly. live as as a, as any kind of creator, whether you're an artist Correct. or whether you're us. We don't take ourselves that seriously. You all Correct. also shouldn't. Everyone should just calm down it, like basically. So, Are you battery coming? Well, yeah. I know. Charge. Wait, huh? oh. just a second. Oh. Okay, her battery is back. <laughs> so, yes, my battery is back. Okay, so there's another question that's come in, which yeah. is basically that you know what what are your thoughts? about how when all these artists are being compared to each other and like mm. how you were talking about right now that you know there's so much back history that you know about where a person is how they've kind of come there and stuff like that and mm. artist journey is more or less in that sense one can figure so now today when you see artists comparing and the way even audience compares them what is basically your overall thought process what all goes through your head when you kind of witness it i kind of just do an eye roll and i'm like kya chal raha hai? but you know, <laughs> in all seriousness i feel like it's to a certain extent, it's natural because especially in hip hop, because people are like, oh, it's a comparative sport. Of course, people are going to compare. It's competitive. It's competitive. I'm like, it's competitive. Sport. <laughs> it's competitive <laughs> when <laughs> people are actually competing, like when people are not competing and their styles are different and their artistic uh, inclination is different yeah. or their artistic sort of makeup is different. Then what is the need? I do. I honestly and allow me to go on a bit of a rant. Whenever yes. I open Twitter, I'm just like, "Ye kya chal raha hai?" Because either first of all, I cannot take people seriously whose vocabulary is limited to two three words, two three emojis, and one or two geometrical signs, like you know, greater <laughs> than, less than. Ya fir wo teacup emoji, ya fir wo skull emoji, ya fir kuch clown emoji. Ye teen emojis hain. Or fir wo unke do do teen words hain vocabulary mein hai mid. Huh. Mid ho gaya, ek, uh, clears ho gaya. this one clears this one and uh, you know and then whatever like these are the if you if this is your vocabulary and this is how you explain your reaction to some artist or their art then you can't really take that seriously because aap do coherent and well constructed sentences mein batao ki aapko kyo koi cheez pasand nahi aai ya pasand aai yeah. you know have a valid reason or valid explanation and a valid like you know it'll just make you a better person if you can you can coherently express your arguments in an articulate manner. Correct. So if that is not happening, then I can't take those tweets seriously. But it's I still find it humorous because I'm like, but this one is not even trying to compete with this one. In <laughs> fact, they are probably like cool with each other. But the whole comparison angle is coming in because I feel like there's a whole section of the audience that wants to, that is very Janani. They want to see Kalish. They want to see fighting. They want to bhedao one fan base with the other. They want to try and bhedao one artist with the other. Ego clash karwana chate hai taki kuch drama create ho jai. You know, which there is no need for. Because if you understand uh, like creativity, then you'll know that every person's journey is different. So their life experiences are different. So their writing will reflect that. Their, um, their what do you call it? Like artistic calling is different, Correct. you know? They were meant the to do something. Will their expression Correct. will be different. Only when they're actually at beef with each other can does a comparison make sense. Otherwise, to justify it saying hip-hop is a competitive sport, we do it. No, they're all working on their own lane. Why are you wasting your time? You go and learn a new language, na? If you have so much free time. 
instead of getting on twitter and doing greater than less than clown emoji i have a perfect question for you with all, the, with, lunch. with all the writing skills and things you're talking about i have a perfect question for you which is come in uh from prakin singh yeah ha. so prakin singh has said uh I guess you can be a great writer. Have you ever thought about it or even tried? Ah, ये बहुत मेरा सपना था जब हम छोटे बच्चे थे जब हम young थे. बड़ी शरारत करते थे. Yes. No, I actually like because I used to, I've been a voracious reader my whole life and yeah. I was very obsessed with the idea of writing a book. I probably there's it's still there in the back of my mind somewhere. Maybe yeah. someday when I when an idea comes and ideas generally come to you when they think you are ready for them. So. um i feel like if it comes it comes i might write a book in the future i do know what i want to write about because i already right. had that thought in my then in the my idea already came by the way i mean i Just know i let you know then the idea has presented itself the It's idea has presented itself the story hasn't come to me ha ha begin writing a little flow out of you that will happen that's true uh, so one correct. must just sit down and be at it as you know very correct. well yes yes you just have to keep a commitment it going. yeah Yes, and just writing the thing isn't enough. उसके बाद के टंटे जो होते हैं वो और ज़्यादा हैं. I know. It's like it's like making the music isn't enough anymore. You gotta learn how to market it and yeah, be the so, businessman okay. about it. Huh. Yes. So what else? What else? What next? What else? What else? अच्छा. So there are also a, a I like how you of... cut my rant short. It was needed. Yeah. But why that would have gone? That's what a good RJ would do. Like you know. <laughs> only allow for so much and this is the baseline the reactions and reviews will never go away because it's something i just love doing i just love mm-hmm. talking about music when i took a break i felt like there was a void in my life you know i was just Aww. like oh i'm missing yeah. um so that will never go away to add on top of it is definitely work in progress and i'm trying to keep at it and i can't edit fancy vlog videos so i'm trying to find an editor for example jitna bhi abhi maine 3 mahine mein london mein shoot kiya hai aur like i went to oxford to on my pause. birthday mm. i want to staple a, a, a whatever here if you think you got it message jojo <laughs> I did a good editor for the vlogs um yes. and so like I did a whole day vlog in Oxford on my birthday I want someone to edit that I want to release it right away but I don't have the time yeah. so and yeah. I'm not able to find anyone um whose kind of sensibilities match so okay anyway please message work in progress um, correct yeah so there's yeah. vlogs by the way I never wanted to do a music review channel I always had this thing that I whenever I start a YouTube channel it'll be a travel vlog channel because that's been my thing you know this I yes. I travel yes. like a maniac and I love like I need to be in new places yeah. experiencing yeah. new things all the time so that was my yeah. life and I yeah. hope it'll be my life moving forward and I can vlog all of that so that's in the thing there's of course real talk uh which I plan to do more frequently and with more artists even like more nice. upcoming artists and and stuff so please let me know who you want to see on real talk and um there's also like i don't know there's there's plans for different things i'm i'm going to explore a lot of uh music themed sort of documentary ish vlogs um interesting because, yeah because london is the hub you can yeah. find every kind of historical place regarding any kind of music genre here so i want to dive into those spaces um, yeah and all this stuff all these ideas actually need time they, they need time, time and they need the skill set of more than just one person to do you know three different people doing three different things that's when a good product can come out yeah. so it's time for jojo for you to make a team now yeah i, I need to yeah. put a team to like i i got the vlog camera i have my iphone now, now i invested yeah. it just for this yeah. reason so i could like on the go record good videos and content yeah. uh just don't have the time to then download it and sit and edit it no there's no right there's no right so i do need an editor who i could just yeah. or god forbid another lockdown then you'll have enough time <laughs> Sorry, don't I'm, say sorry, such things. Say What's wrong with her? E- evil mind coming forth. Okay. <laughs> evil eye emoji. Evil eye emoji. Evil eye emoji. I put lots of. <laughs> okay. Now for the second question, uh, which is that um, you reacted on a song uh, in a collab with uh, Rohan Karyapa. Yes. And to add to that, like you know, uh, also we've had like we've had different people who've come and we've chatted and we've like you know kind of done a thing. And uh, Mr. Jones was also here. Only so, two have come. The Raj and the Rohan. That's true. 
So yeah. will there be so the, which is where the question comes from? That will there be any more guest appearances in the future? Is that something you're working towards, or is it something that happens just organically, or is there a plan for it? Listen, I'm very game. I'm very game to even react to people's uh, songs with them. Like if any artists want to do that with us, that'd be you so know? fun. They can Although join us. Very, like it's like we... putting too much of yourself out there for the yeah, artists. But... Yeah, but, but we'll also can. tell them. Listen, honest honesty is a good policy. <laughs> is the policy of the channels. So come online. Uh, okay, anyway. So let's see. Uh, I am open to all collabs. I, in fact, like I feel like the more you collab, the more someone's energy sort of rubs off on you, and then new ideas come, and all of that happens. Um, so totally game. Uh, Rohan Karyapa, no. So we were supposed to do that all Nayab. Maybe now that we watch Nayab offline, we can call him back to have a discussion about it. Talking about Nayab, I think it's time. तो हम सुन लेंगे और अब नई एल्बम आ रही है सो वी टू काइंड ऑफ़ फोकस ऑन दैट एंड वुड यू लाइक टू गॉट वेरी डिलेड विद वुड यू बी अप I wish I and now come... different time zones because of it. You know, twenty four to twenty four hours may be uh, time. Ekdam se squeeze in ho gaya like couple of hours pe. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Five and a half hour time difference, which you know is a is a big time difference. Cause yeah, yeah. To coordinate and then. Then karat karat ka din ho jata hai. Ha. No, but and... I'm very game. I I don't mind doing uh, YouTube lives more often this year, and uh, if hopefully you will also be free to do them. Uh, yeah, if not, not, I will call the Raj or the Lord. Ah, why not? You know, why that not? Also. And if yeah. you guys want to come on board, DM also, me. Also, why not? Everybody. <laughs> Akeli, I will not do it. It's very boring. Has responded to your question sticker. Are you Bengali? Just curious. What? No, I'm not Bengali. <laughs> I am uh, a UP Jat. All right. I've said this before. You have. I must have missed it. Yeah. Um, so, hmm. um, I think both. Okay, Would you I choose see. to be loyal or choose truth? I'm going to ask you this. This is from Rishi Ravi Chandar. Won't you naturally be loyal if you do choose truth? Exactly what I thought. We this is why we are friends. <laughs> why is it one or the other? Yeah. Okay. So truth. Because when you're truthful, then you naturally be loyal, or you be. But being loyal means being truthful. Yeah. That's true, and not just in a relationship sense. Like if we look at loyalty beyond just no, any a relationship, relationship. Yeah, yeah, friendship, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. if you're loyal to someone, you'll always be true. Like sometimes, yeah. I mean, if one can raise that question, saying, "Kabi kabi loyalty me jhoot bolna padta hai to save somebody." In that case, you know, will you take? Will you speak the truth, or will you be, you know, loyal and speak the untruth or false or whatever? Okay, fair enough. But I'd rather I, I always I'll politely speak the truth. If I'm a genuine good friend, and if I want my friend to be, you know, you. safe exactly. and careful, and like, yeah, so yeah. I would much rather speak the truth, even if it means hurting the person in that moment. And I'll use the right words. I'm not going to be rude about it. I can speak the truth, you know, masked nicely, yeah. and still it, it can be the truth. So still, sometimes, the truth. sometimes tough love is needed. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You have to be truthful, even if they hate you in that moment, and Correct. then they'll come back in retrospect. It'll make sense, and they'll be like, "Oh, you are my two friendships, <laughs> <laughs> true friendships." Yes. Acha, ab real talk, ah. Huh? रिएक्शन रियल टॉप तो हो जाएंगे जिंदगी कैसी चल रही है अरे बहुत स्ट्रेस में चल रही है दिस इज जोकिंग सार्कास्टिक अवर दी बहुत ही सार्कास्टिक अवर दी यार बहुत सार्कास्टिकली मैं नहीं बोल रही हूं बट रियली इट्स वेरी स्ट्रेसफुल यार आई मीन आई थॉट आई थॉट कितना अच्छी लाइफ होगी लाइक रिलैक्स एंड लाइक यू नो चिल इन लंदन नो वो सच थिंग अम नो इन ऑल ऑनेस्टली वेरी ग्रेटफुल हैप्पी हेल्दी लाफिंग एबल टू एंजॉय Ha huh, nice. Life we also have another good. question from Sarcastic Bill uh, who has said that uh, uh, like yeah another another person who said what made you start reacting to music. So I think that we, we kind of covered it. at the start yeah. Mm-hmm. We covered at the start of the thing so you can if you in case you missed it you can circle back. In total how many countries have you guys visited? Oh, I'm so bad at this. Go for it Jojo this is your. And also which piercing are you going to get next? So answer both the things together. Ha huh? Piercings are done, but there's no more piercings. <laughs> I had a I had a nose uh, ring in in my uni years, by the way, which huh, I huh. which I closed, and then I got my study here. That's it. Uske baad kuch nahi. But um, how many countries? The last time I counted, which was like six seven years ago, I was at thirty six, I think. Um, hmm. Uske baad, I think some seven eight more must have been added. I don't know. Something in the forties. So yeah, okay, very good. Something in the forties, but uh, if you count cities, then it'll be a lot more. But yeah. um. ठीक है सो सी दिस इज बीन माय लाइफ 
Mm-hmm. All through radio, radio is like I'm sorry anybody who thinks that radio is a very like a nice, easy going job. No, in in radio you can never take chutti. So because of that, I never travelled. The one chutti that I used to get, like you know, almost पूरे साल में जो एक महीने की छुट्टी मिलती थी, ah, uh, I would basically take that one month का छुट्टी and go home because I live away from my parents. Though. I live away mm-hmm. from parents, so I would get only mm-hmm. that time to mm-hmm. go visit my family back home. So in the entire year. the only time i would travel and my that travel mm. time would get spent in going back home to parents mm. so i have technically begun traveling only now so within india i've traveled quite a bit for wherever work took me and everything but as far as like traveling like i feel like i'm missing out in life but not okay. really yeah meko life mein kabhi aisa feel nahi hua meko ab feel hona shuru hua hai so now i think i'll begin traveling otherwise yeah. wherever work took me i've traveled to those places but like i've never like just for chutti randomly going here and there would never never words happened so fully in radio you're I right i want to learn from you yeah, yeah yeah no because you've been an rj from the start i was not rjing i started rjing towards yeah later years but um, i know rjs would get it very difficult see why also depends on your on your company we used to make sure the yeah. rjs take a break every 3 to 4 months because they need a refresher when you're doing a show every day you can't function otherwise your show will start sounding stale you need to go out there and <sighs> disconnect so much just that, you know yeah, so it depend karta hai ha so yeah. anyway but that aside i feel like for me as soon as i left home it was a travel like huh. i was just on the move i was changing countries and continents every two years that kept happening for like 10 years yeah then i kept and even like because that that sort of exploration bug bit me so early in life i was yeah. just like i was never at peace unless i was i had like 3 to 4 or 5 even new countries on my to do list for every year that i would like make in january and things like that. so anyway it was and <laughs> like from dubai it's very easy because you have like Correct. airline connections to any part of the world and it's not yeah. a very long flight so yeah. all that used to keep me going but yeah itne theek hai what do you, uh, do you want do you want to answer dhh questions now yeah why not are there any punjabi no. hip hop or like you know regular dhh yes or no Oh, there's a greater. That's yeah, greater sign. Sorry, no, I cannot no, answer no. these greater. There are less than <laughs> questions. Everything is doing well in its own zone. Enjoy everything. Uh-huh. Whatever, whatever is your vibe. Enjoy that. That's it. There's no greater than less than. And why compare? Why compare genres? Why compare artists? Okay, I'll go back into my rant. Let's just stop. <laughs> everything is good. Just consume what you vibe with. That's it. Yeah. Do you want to talk about different artists? Sure. There are lots of questions asking what, who, or which is your favorite artist from Pakistan. Ha oh, ha! Difficult question because we cover <laughs> hip hop also and non hip hop also, na? Yeah. Oh my God! Listen. Hmm. ये तो बहुत ही difficult सवाल है. Yes. I would say Abda Ji, of course. Um. Yes. I mean, just just people who move your soul, right? Huh. Um. Then of course I would say Anjum Young Stunners. Yeah. I would say totally love the Hasan Rahim vibe. Um. I um actually. Hmm. I mean, we go. I think the entire st- tribe of Coke Studio and all the artists. <laughs> yeah, everyone. <laughs> yeah, everyone from there. But I'm just like, <sighs> Mehdi Maloof is another one who's got that very interesting vibe. Um, and I think in the in the newer ones, I would say Hassan and Roshan are really doing well. Um, they sound really fresh. No. Yeah. Yeah. And because they're they're fusing the the different styles very nicely. Correct. Um, and Correct. they're also bringing that whole like '90s pop vibe, keeping that alive. So there's oh my god, there's so many. I I can't. I mean, if I haven't taken anyone's name, um, I I don't. It's just because I can't remember right now. But yeah. Correct. Full okay. And everyone. and uh, and in India, any specific artists who are like, if you can, now that you like, who are regularly the ones that you listen to. Oh ho! Right now, the well is it all controversial? We can let it be. <laughs> Just because I'm not saying it, yeah, yeah. It's a lot. Do you get listen to it? She doesn't listen. But I know for a fact that you listen to. You've started listening to hip hop a lot more after the reaction channel, right? Mm. And I, on an everyday basis, you listen to hip hop now, correct? Yeah, yeah, I do. Would you say like reg- like non hip hop music? What say if Pehle used to be a lot more versus hip hop? What is like the percentage division in oh, your everyday listening? Uh, right now, hip hop is um, is kind of. I mean, I think it's a fifty fifty, but sometimes on some days of the week, hip hop is more like sixty seventy percent. When do you listen to hip hop maximum? Uh, when I'm on the like move. what time of the day? When ah, I'm commuting. So in, so in, okay, nice. Huh. Yeah. I was about to say in your car, and then I realized, no, you've shifted. Oh, no I miss my car. <laughs> 
car listing is the best but headphones are also good enough when you're out and about i realize i've landed up listening i nowadays like i've noticed a pattern now i listen to hip hop when i'm in extreme emotions when i'm feeling really bad like if say if i'm hurt about something if i'm angry about something if i'm just like you know uh, pissed off at somebody or when i'm so all extreme emotions even really really sad mm -hmm. or like really angry i i listen to hip hop and it helps it helps like in extreme emotions hip hop really helps that's yeah. what i basically i'm i'm glad you said that because i don't know if you remember i messaged you in december i was literally close to having a mental breakdown with my deadlines it was a mm -hmm. very intense month everyone in class was and i remember like walking home and i'd had a very stressful week and um i was just walking home and i had the basically the bus was cancelled so i had to walk a long way home yeah. and i had my random shuffle my playlist on it was hip hop it was my usual artists that i listen to and i can't tell you how amazing i felt by the time i reached home i literally was walking and my eyes were tearing up and i was just like now i get like i i got it but i also didn't get it because unless you're going through that kind of a period you don't fully yeah. get it right yeah, so yeah. a lot of listeners uh, viewers will leave comments that say i was going through this phase and and your songs pulled me out of it and your songs gave me the motivation to i have not been in that phase so as much as i've engaged or felt the song while we're reacting to it i didn't i couldn't relate on that level until i was going through a stressful period myself in life and then it just like completely changed my energy and i was like now i get it now i get I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. As Karma would say. Um, so yeah, those artists interesting. are regular. Interesting that artists. you mentioned Karma now because there are quite a few very specific questions regarding artists have come. I was trying to kind of stay away from it and not ask you these questions because then it becomes very. But I have a question. So let's. Why not? 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 <laughs> so among the many because abhi karma ki baat hui to wahan se shuru karte hain. So Puneet Agarwal has asked a question. Thoughts on rise of new karma in 2022. Love it, love it. Listen, any artist who's pushing his boundaries, his or her boundaries, is a phenomenal sight to behold. One, um, you know, um, just to see someone step out of their comfort zone, not even as an artist, like even if my friend does it and she like can't swim but jumps into the pool and tries, it's just a beautiful moment to see. So, um, so anyway, I love it, and I feel like initially there were some of his songs that didn't we didn't vibe with so much. We were like, huh. appreciate that he's trying something different i um, think that phase was only middle mein at like ha ek ya do ya initially love 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 ha loved, loved, huh? fir beat bas thoda sa beech mein i think hua tha early last year also yeah, some of the songs on his album also we didn't really vibe with that Correct. much you know Correct. so there there's that always going to be that change yeah. so quickly but like, you know it, it kind of like also takes time for for them to find okay this i think works yeah. for me this the way i delivered this maybe i can try this and then when they try that they're like oh i can flow here better um yeah. i'm finding my rhythm easier in this space correct so give them that space you know you guys instead of being so again i'm coming back to the same thing instead of being so judgmental and saying mid and mid -er, give them the space and the time to play around creativity is not um what do you call it it's not math it's not zero or one there's a lot of correct so a anyway, lot of gray areas a lot of a gray lot areas of and a lot of like space that's needed to yeah expand so correct. it's because the whole process that you're going through when you're creating something is um expanding you in yeah. so many ways even that yeah. even the artist who's work, working on that stuff does not know he or he also doesn't have probably not conceived final product in his mind completely yet like right. it through the process you're learning so much because i was sending zulfi like a lot of artists take it so seriously they're like oh i created this music or i created this whatever and it's my baby and it's not the, you are the you are the baby of the art the the right. art actually makes you yeah. who yeah. you eventually become as a person not yeah. even a creator just as a human and a person who's learned things um you are getting reborn with everything mm -hmm. that you make Uh, yeah. a new avatar of you is coming around and that right. avatar new avatar is going to create some new song in the future that previous avatar would never have created had he not gone through that song process a right. song that probably flopped or didn't work so anyway give people the space to have fun with now yes talking okay. about there's so many questions that have come about two specific artists and if i had to sum all of them up uh, your thoughts about uh, young stunners about uh, talanjum uh specifically and there is thoughts on versatility of dollar being questioned uh specifically about dollar's music and then this particular question is that thoughts on versatility of dollar being questioned and comparison with ta oh good right God. So, yeah so this is a heavy one but this is like the base question but there are so many questions that have come regarding 
like you know specifically young stunners and what your journey about young stunners has been have you by the way spoken to them there was another question i can't recall where that somebody asked that have you spoken to t uh, to they want to uh, know yeah, right. uh, young stunners ka manager for real talk so first answer that question then we come to the comparison between uh, you know this whole while you've spoken about what mm. comparison means to you but still about krishna and young stunners or talanjum specifically I don't know if my opinion is really important in that zone, but okay, we'll get to that. Uh, yeah. Young stunners. <laughs> so, no, we are not in touch. I am not in contact with them at all. Um, like, we've never exchanged messages. So, mm -hmm. there's been a few, like, story reshares, if I remember correctly. But other than that, no, I don't really have any uh, first-hand con connection. Um, I have, on everyone's behest and request, I have reached out to their manager. I've um but uh, un for unfortunately somebody in my dms i think mm. a few months ago one of the viewers he had shared um their manager's uh instagram and i think email address and all of that or what dm ho gaya i can't i didn't take a screenshot and i can't find it anywhere so then i had to ask maybe they got so many people who messaged on that thinking yeah. oh and like they were like ye kya kar diya humne and they deleted it was it a dm or was it a comment? no no it was a, an actual DM? conversation oh. with someone in dms oh, um, okay, okay. and he's like oh if you if you're thinking of reaching out to them for a real talk then here's their manager's details who are you come back i know please come back and message me again <laughs> if you're watching this because i lost that dm i can't find it so i had to reach yeah. out to someone in the industry i got um the whatsapp number of their manager and i dropped a message hmm. which has not been responded to so either the number is wrong not been delivered or i'm just being ignored so, so. Oh, rejected full <laughs> base no. has happened <laughs> nahi <laughs> maybe they were waiting now now that you have got uh the, the uh, honor mil chuka hai 100k ka hai to maybe now they will agree <laughs> you never know i don't Ho know hai, i don't know, know. maybe they're not up for interviews it's all good so the thing is i don't put too much stress on the whole real talk thing happening because things Which get cancelled last be... minute ah, yeah true. sometimes yeah. you commit and then you're like mindset completely change hota hai something throws throw someone off like bella's thing got got uh, postponed by a few months because huh. something th you know there was a stuff happening artists is a kaam karoge natural hai you just have to be flexible and flowy and Jab having worked in radio we know unless they are in the studio physically sitting in front of you don't think Kuch it's going to happen hai. yeah uh -huh. so that's why traffic till... jams itne lambe hote hain jab live studio uh -huh. mein aana hota tha ki traffic jam 4 ghante tak chal rahe hain and then it's like excuse me my show is over are you coming I to know. what is this can thing? i tell you show ke baad people have entered and yeah. i've gotten like i remember once i got so pissed i have like wo ek ghante baad aaye the i refused to, i did one link with them and i said bas show khatam ho gaya my show was on but i just told them muh pe ke like khatam ho gaya they were like nahi but we've just reached i'm sorry time over i was so rude i was so pissed off but like it happened shit happens yeah like, shit yeah. happens and the thing is the when you're of course going to appear on a live show then punctuality is is matters key. yeah Yeah. Um, if you're going for a recording, फिर भी ठीक है. लेकिन like once, can I just say this? Once we were gonna, this is way back in the day. Um, hmm. Divine was gonna come into our studios. It was I think 2014 or 15, and hmm. he hadn't really blown up then. Nobody really yeah. knew him, but he was he was doing his thing underground, and we were very excited. We were like, हाँ ठीक है, bring him. And um, the label guy was like, हाँ हाँ हम तीन बजे पहुँच जाएंगे. So I had my like uh, mid morning jog, stay back hmm. to do it. And you um, were a producer then. I was, I was, yeah, music head. Oh, you were, huh, music head, correct. Huh, so, huh. Um, so then, uh, and uh, didn't show up three thirty. We're waiting at the, apparently. <laughs> Should I even tell them this story? Yeah, it'll be fun. Ah, huh, so anyway, brother, sir, party was done last night. So he didn't come. So then. <laughs> फिर वो आई नहीं फिर वो कितना होता है फिर वो छह साढ़े छह बजे आने वाले थे तब तक हम सबको निकल के जा रहा था तो वो इंटरव्यू बुआई थी तो ऐसा भी हो जाता है so it's okay it's all good like life में थोड़ा stress आता है हाँ बट लाइक जब लाइव नहीं रिकॉर्ड कर रहे कमिटमेंट्स देन इट्स कंफर्टेबल तो अगर होना होगा तो हो जाएगा उस मोमेंट में सो गुड सो यंग इज इट्स मेंट टू हैपन इट हैपन यस नो स्ट्रेस एंड नाउ पार्ट बी एंड विद दैट 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 क्वेश्चन सो आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज योर ओपिनियन ऑन दिस होल थिंग ऑफ and i no. feel that when people are talking about comparisons in their versatility are you literally like what is the question really are you literally comparing them because that i mean doesn't make sense makes if you're talking about each individual person's versatility and then you're taking their versatility and then comparing it the honest question which comes to my mind to with that you know comparison going on is who is who's it serving it is serving an idle mind who's sitting back loving both of them And now बस हमें और कुछ चाहिए सोचने के लिए इंटरेस्टिंग कनंड्रम विच एक्चुअली डजेंट एग्जिस्ट राइट सो इट्स अ फैलिसी 
तो अगर हम फैलेसी में जिएंगे और वी आर पुटिंग अ क्वेश्चन अप व्हिच एक्चुअली बिकॉज़ इफ यू लुक एट इट बोथ आर्टिस्ट्स आर सो फ्लेक्सिबल इन देयर ओन देयर देयर वर्सेटिलिटी ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ म्यूजिक दैट दे मेक इज सो सेपरेट एंड इंडिविजुअल एंड एट द एंड ऑफ इट वी आर द वंस एट द रिसीविंग एंड हु एब्सोल्युटली लव लिसनिंग टू बोथ सो इन कंपैरिजन और इफ वंस इज ओ इट्स अ कंपिटिटिव स्पोर्ट नो द पॉइंट इज नॉट टू यू नो kill either one off and yeah. what what is the end result of that one person still makes music and the other one stops no i don't want that to happen i want both people to make music because they both make amazing music yeah. like you know and they give such different things that yes if one is talking about that krishna ka recently one can expect a little more creativity maybe a little more versatility from him again couple of whatever you know minutes back you were talking about that how give people their space yeah. give them enough space to come back aaj koi gana acha nahi laga ya today certain expectation didn't get met 15 days into it one month into it something might come out and we'll be like are you oh wow then are you going to eat those words back no because you know once words out, are out like they they create a rhythm which not necessarily is always nice and that's why in fact i'm not on twitter you know because there is so much uh, ladai jhagda kalesh going on then it's almost like just give everybody the space to have their time to create to and express you know just artists do. need creative space if you don't give them that and a lot of it comes from their fans like us you know so if we are constantly hounding them while we may think farak nahi padta lekin yaar kisko kaun hai aisa insaan jisko farak nahi padega upar se one will be saying everything nahi padta yeah. but everybody is human so i mean if you like you said if you're asking me i'd say the end result of it what i want is good music good versatility from both of them and i don't think the versatility can be compared really because i think the zone is very different if you're talking can each of them go super fast and have really good thoughts and make like amazing rhyme schemes and can they both do that so how does one like yeah so i don't know that's that's me what about you as j cole says why would i choose between this one or that one when i i can have both <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Listen, I think I've I've said what I wanted to say. I mean, I'll add to it. Um, like I said before, give the artists their space. They themselves are evolving as artists while creating anything. So the the newer version of them that gets born after each song they release or make is gonna create something even more different and unique that they didn't have an idea for. But that needs space and time and breathing, you know. And getting bored. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes. like so just uh, yesterday j cole was looking for inspiration j cole was looking for inspiration he went on youtube and randomly found a j cole type beat and and wrote a verse on it and gave it to the producer to release on his channel like that's a very big thing to happen um yeah. first he's supporting the beat producer and secondly he's like my which is a great thing i love that he did that my whole takeaway was like this kind of song as he uh, said in his dm would have just stayed in his hard drive and mm. he said in his verse he's like this would have just stayed in one of those folders forgotten folders of the hard drive i wish i was more fearless that really got to me because one a he was looking for inspiration he's like i need new inspiration i don't have that urge um or that urgency sorry to yep. create like i did back in the day when i didn't have money to pay my creditors right yeah, who were yeah. calling me for for money so i was broke and i had that urgency i need to make music i need to make yeah. money and that becomes now, now i don't have one. he's like yeah. i don't have that i'm rich now so i don't have yeah. that urgency so yeah. now i'm trying to find inspiration in different ways and and like imagine go, you're going on youtube to look for inspiration like it's you're really like struggling to find it yeah. and yeah. and if 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 an artist constantly gets this like comparison being happening and like negative chatter it's like where is that where is the space for them to think um in a, in a relaxed fearless way fearless was a very important word you used yeah in a fear i mean again this is another thing which i find very profound is that uh, and it's from the book um as an artist you can never be fearless you just have to practice being brave exactly you know and being brave and fearless are, are two very different things you will never be rid of the fear you will always have fear if you are an artist or a creator so don't imagine your life as a fearless life this fear is a constant is that journey uh, is that is that companion on your journey remember i told you she addresses fear as a person and says you're welcome to be on this trip and in the car with me but you're never allowed to take the steering wheel right so yeah. so an artist will never be rid of the fear they just have to practice being brave they have to practice being open to inspiration and looking for inspiration there's a flip side to it Uh, there's a flip side to it while this holds true for the artist yeah. but for the artist's fans to constantly be demanding of music or demanding That's of versatility or demanding of something that creates a bubble of fearfulness it creates a bubble of fear yeah. that hey if i don't put this out there and uh, you know satisfy everyone's need for this particular music or their expectation from me that's where what you're speaking kind of you know then comes to yeah. play 
but from a fan perspective to allow your artists to have that space and freedom to not get fearful about it with the fear that you're putting onto them they might take it they might not take it that's their zone but as a as a real fan would you do that to a person you love you know of course not sometimes we you know people tend to do it ke oh hum to apna pyar dikha rahe hain by demanding more no that's not always the right way to express love that's that's actually the exact opposite way yeah. because if yeah. you don't give them like first of all this whole like consistency is yeah. it pisses me off because what yeah. is consistency there is no such thing as consistency in a, in the art world you Correct. create when you're inspired yep. and if you're not inspired enough and you don't feel confident about something you don't put it out in the universe you don't create of course like being fearless about putting things out there that you're not 100% convinced about is also another whole other topic but the point is the, the when the audience puts this whole like oh very inconsistent or labels the, or kitna time loge <laughs> album abhi anjum ke piche kitna pade hue hain ki album release karo album release sab ke piche to pade hi rehte hain waise normally ki uh, uh, kab kar rahe ho kab ab, 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 ab aapne kab decide kiya ki consistency equals make it a great artist like who decided that who made you king of the world to put that law into place like you know like yes oh if you don't release a song every month then you fallen off you, <laughs> i mean kendrick comes back every two years with an album right someone else this ed sheeran comes back every two or three years with a B. project yeah people need yeah. to be given their time in the meantime consume their music till it's in your blood like you know breathe yeah. and live a song anyway that is something that probably but i think it's a great thing is, space to wrap it up on yeah. ha huh, the the closing thought is that um when you're when you're being like like real love for an artist or real love in general is having no expectations right that is something we all need to practice in yeah. life in like generally it's got to be unconditional otherwise it's conditional and it's fake it's not real love yes. so on that note i think i will just um, um. Are you happy with our excessive talking and excessive like answering your questions and all this that matlab itna lamba hamara this would be like a pura session like you know usually when we do one session it lasts us approximately one and a half two hours uh, which like you know we record the whole weekend right now we have only spent doing this i know Dude. that's the law yo this was going to be a 5 to 10 minute unboxing video that's all it was going to be <laughs> like a witchy cackle over here please <laughs> Who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? Put the put the women pick up emoji now. Now go and comment. Oh, we yes. love doing that. So, ठीक है. That was our. Oh my God! That's I thought the screenshots I sent you of people's questions were both come. जल्दी जल्दी हम निपटा लेंगे. But anyway, ठीक है. Like I said, who are we kidding? <laughs> we love to talk. Yeah, so, it was so good having this tea with you. Yay! So, so again, thank you guys. I'll try Yay. and find a way to put this on the wall. Although I don't know how long I'm in this house, so we'll see. This is my my makeshift studio where everything keeps falling around me. <laughs> There are enough walls and enough nails, so it'll shift with every place of yours. Yeah, yes, that's true. Yeah. Um, but yay! What a great note to start the year on. And I want to put it in a place where I can keep looking at it and feeling motivated to carry on. Because some nights I'm just like, oh, I can't edit one more video. I'm just so like sleepy, and my eyes are burning, and I'm like done looking at a screen. And then I still sit and edit the video, and still sit and make the thumbnail. And then sometimes I've crashed on my laptop only. Like I've literally fallen asleep with the laptop still open. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, okay. I will keep at it. Oh, and try and create. It's so lovely. Well done, Joe. This is amazing. Well done to us. Give me five. To the, to the next. To the next hundred thousand. Amazing. I don't know why I'm rubbing your hand, but okay. It's like waving bye to it. <laughs> okay, we will end now. We have uh, spoken right. too much. Enough, yes. hena. Okay. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being around. It means so 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 much. And just keep sending your love and support, and hope there were some takeaways from our. random musings again stay okay. awesome yo stay awesome and live long and prosper